it's that time of year again <laughs> hey guys it's katie welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing some things to do to help you prepare for the upcoming school year i personally am kind of excited for school i'm a huge nerd and i love science and math but i also love art language and history i'm very well rounded i'm just not always the biggest fan of the school atmosphere anyways no matter how much you're looking forward to this year i hope that this video will help you make it a successful one also i'm going into high school and it'll actually be my first year. It's not my fault I wasn't born earlier. And we'll be having in-person classes because I'm in Northern Canada and we actually don't have any COVID-19 cases here, but these tips will also be helpful if you're taking your classes online. Okay, let's get started with the six things you can do to prepare for this school year. I'll be doing all of these things as well. Number one is to start learning more advanced topics. So for this one, you can go on to Khan Academy or an educational YouTube channel such as Crash Course, TED Ed, or It's Okay to Be Smart, and then you can just click on a topic you haven't really seen or dived into before and learn something new. You can also study the topics you'll likely be learning this year and review your past work, which is something I need to do. Doing all these things will help you feel more prepared, less stressed, and less confused during the year. On a related note, I'd also recommend finding different ways to learn, such as educational YouTube videos, Netflix shows, podcasts, books, and websites. There are so many resources out there and exploring them will definitely make your learning a lot more fun. The second thing you should do to prepare is definitely the most exciting and that is to treat yourself to some new school supplies and stationery and also stay safe if you're going out to a store. I personally bought Jack Edwards academic planner, he's a study tuber and I also bought a notebook from Taylor Swift's store but I don't know if I'm going to use that for school. I also bought stationery from Amazon and Chapters Indigo, a Canadian brand and I don't know if I need all the notebooks I bought. My school might supply them, but I'll use them eventually and I love notebooks so it's worth it. Anyways, be sure to get yourself a bullet journal or planner. You can also plan out your schedules on your phone. No matter what you use, it'll be super helpful to keep track of your tasks and deadlines. I personally use the Loystrom 1917 bullet journals and I got myself a navy one for next year and I'll also be using Jack Edwards academic planner. Also, stock up on thin black pens in particular for note taking. Don't buy too many things, keep using old pens and stuff if they're still good. And remember that everyone has different preferences. Buy what works for you. On a related note, clean out your bag and pencil case, pack in advance, and only take what you need. The third thing you should do before school starts is set yourself goals for the school year. So you can set academic goals, social goals, or goals for hobbies and extracurriculars. You can also set yourself monthly and weekly goals as they come. To give you some examples, you can set goals relating to reading, memorization, or extracurricular projects, and they'll give you more fulfillment and direction throughout the year. I personally haven't set mine yet, but I will, and you should too. Be ambitious, but make sure that they're achievable as well. The fourth thing you should do to prepare for school is to have a good and consistent sleep schedule. Personally, my sleep wasn't messed up too bad because focus and health are important to me and I'm also a morning person. But if you've been staying up or sleeping too much, then start going to bed and waking up at the same times as you will for school or start to slowly ease into it. Remember that sleep is important for your memory, focus, and mood. Give yourself enough time to get ready in the morning. And also, I'd recommend doing a little bit of exercise to start your days to help boost your energy and your brain. It doesn't have to be intense there are tons of workouts online you can also go for a walk run or bike ride outside just remember to stay safe the fifth thing you can do before school starts is write a letter to your end of the year self so we had to do this in school last year and it was a good exercise I actually never read my letter though i don't know if it's still with my teacher or if it's just with my old schoolwork but i do remember some things i wrote anyways in your letter you can talk about your goals and your interests and you can also ask your future self questions just be sure to make it your own also, go in your planner or calendar and remind your future self to read your letter. This will be a very interesting exercise to do this year because things will be different at the end of the year and I guess it's up to us to determine what that different will look like. Now, the sixth and final thing you can do to prepare for school is to write a recap of your summer or your entire quarantine or your quarantine so far if you're taking online classes. You can definitely do this in bullet points and no matter how eventful the past couple of months have been for you, I think this is just a great way to reflect and end the summer. This will also prepare you for when someone asks you what your summer or quarantine was like. And those are the six things you can do to prepare for the upcoming school year. I hope you find these things helpful and no matter what this year will look like for you, I hope everything goes well and I hope you learn things that fascinate you and just know that you've got this. 
Stay safe if your classes are in person. Let me know what your favorite school subjects are. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of my life. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.